Thank you, Stephen. New this morning, San Antonio Fire Department investigating a suspicious fire at a commercial building on the city's northeast side. Jonathan Cotto joins us live from the scene. Jonathan, what's the latest out there? Good morning, Mark. Well, things got pretty intense for San Antonio Fire Department here last night. They were out here uh, earlier this morning uh, keeping an eye out for hot spots and uh, it hasn't ended. The hard work has not ended. Another fire engine is here again this morning, just arriving. I was able to take a look around the corner. Uh, smoke is starting to come out again from the scene. They are taking a look at that right now. But let's take a look at what that scene looked like earlier this morning. We know fire crews arrived uh, sh close to 10 o'clock last night to this commercial facility located on Old O'Connor Road. That's near Wiedner and Lookout Roads. Firefighters tell us they were met with a number of challenges as they attempted to gain control of the fire involving a series of metal buildings that are all connected. Immediately asked for a second alarm due to the high wind. You know, we are under a red flag warning today with these high winds, the cold front moving in. They were concerned about it spreading to a neighboring uh, business here as well as potentially to the neighborhoods across the street. Now, it's important to mention that red flag warning has been canceled. Another challenge uh, the firefighters were met with was getting water. And that's because the location of the fire is far from the main road. But the good news here is firefighters were able to keep that fire from spreading, eventually gaining control of the flames. Mark, Stephanie, we've learned investigators are speaking with someone who may have information as to who or what started the fire here. And again, this fire engine just arriving seconds ago. We've seen smoke uh, starting to come up again from uh, from the scene, uh, we'll let you know how this case unfolds. Reporting live from the city's northeast side, Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.